It has been an enormous pleasure and privilege to get to know Teresa over these last 25 or so years since Louise first uh, introduced you to us. Uh, and uh, it's just been a joy to get to know you. And um, I have to say that Hannah, speaking as a professional, I thought Hannah did an amazing job with the service. Yes. Uh, and yeah. she's made it
And maybe even you'd say that the reason we're here today is, is about their romantic love for each other. And when they promised in the service that Hannah led to love each other for the rest of their life, maybe that's what they were promising. But I'm going to say that I don't think it is. Because I don't think you can promise romantic love. Romantic love by its very nature is a feeling. It's something that happens to you. you. You feel romantic love. You can't control it. And if you can't control it, how can you promise it? How can you promise something that you can't control? So if they weren't promising to love each other romantically for the rest of their lives, what kind of love was it that they were promising to each other in the church earlier today? Well, I would suggest that there is a different kind of love, which is not based on feelings, but is based on choice and intentionality. That there is a kind of love where you decide that you are going to behave lovingly towards this person for the rest of your life, come what may, even when you don't feel like it. And those of us who have been married for a long time or have been together for a long time will know that there are plenty of times when you don't feel like it. <laughs> But that that is the key measure of true love. When you don't feel like behaving nicely and kindly and gently towards your partner, but you do it anyway because you choose to, that is the real measure of love. And you do see that kind of love in, I think, all of these films, but certainly in most of them. And you know the film where I think you see it the most? The Shape of Water. <laughs> yes. Because... They literally risk their lives for each other. Their love is literally one where they try to save each other. Theirs is a kind of love which is absolutely not based on feelings, but based on actions and deeds and intentional desires to treat each other with kindness. That's the kind of love we see in most of these films. This is also the kind of love that I have seen between Louise and Theresa these last 25 years. It's been a huge pleasure to know Louise for years, <laughs> and it's been a huge pleasure to know Theresa for 25 years, but neither of those pleasures are as much as the pleasure I've had in seeing their love for each other blossom for 25 years. That, that's been a real huge pleasure and privilege, and the love that I've seen blossom is, is shape and water love. It's sacrificial, committed, intentional love, chosen and acted out by thought, word and deed. Not just through feelings, although romantic love is good too. Uh, and those of you who've been married a long time must be remember that. <laughs> but it's the other kind of love that I've seen, that I respect, that has given me joy. It's the love that's brought them to this day and to this commitment. And it's the love that's given us the pleasure of seeing their relationship grow and of being part of today. And because of that, uh, we're going to toast this lovely couple. And uh, I'd ask you to raise your glasses and to toast with me the happy couple the happy couple